Hello, Dorna here. Welcome to my live chat. Today I'm going to talk to you about a way, a really, really fantastic way to deal with your negative thoughts. Now, I don't know what you do when you're walking around and suddenly it hits you. A really stressful thoughts come in and takes over your entire mental reality. What do you do then? Do you kind of try to push it away? Do you try to deny it, ignore it? What do you do? What do you do when it's the same stressful thought that keeps coming on and on and on every single day, few times a day? What do you do? And the reason I'm asking you, because I know that sometimes people take it as a fact of life, this is how it is, and they don't necessarily go on a, on a detective mode to examine what, to examine their mental structures, how their inner world is constructed that creates those stressful thoughts. And I don't know what you do if you have a certain method, something that you've done that you'd like to um, share with us, please do in the comments. I tell you what I did, and I came across this lady, I think pretty much accidentally. You probably know her. She's on the title, so you probably know who I'm going to talk about. It's Byron Katie who has devised this tool called the work, which is four question and a turnaround. She asks you and invites you to write down your stressful thoughts and then to question one, their validity, how it makes you feel um, in the body, where else the thought takes you to what other stressful thoughts and other stressful beliefs. And then she invites you to check out and see how you'd be if you didn't have that thought. And then you turn it around to see whether sometimes the very opposite of that, for example, could be true for you. Now, I'll let you check her out on YouTube. There's a lot of um, videos. There's a lot of resources translated in many, many languages. So I definitely invite you to check her out. She was a instrumental in my discovery of my own mental structure and my discovery of how innocently I would cause my own suffering. I did the work religiously for at least four years. Every time I was in a difficult um, phase of a relationship, I would sit down. She has a judge your neighbor worksheet. I would sit down, judge the neighbor, judge the person that I was relating with. Often is a loved one, have you noticed? <laughs> and um, you do the work. And... No, I did the work. I did the work for four years and it truly helped me. It helped me integrate the world, the spiritual world, you know, the fantastic experiences of union and, you know, connectedness that we have with each other. And <laughs> the real oneness of the, of the whole thing, the beauty of the whole thing. And then integrated that with a world where we are relating. And you know, that's where a lot of stress come in for most of us. And as Matt said, and he wrote a blog about it, we do not get enlightened alone. We need each other to know what rules us here, what belief what thoughts are really the dominant ones in our psyche. I would say the work of Byron Katie is very much like you, you becoming your own therapist. 
but and from now on I'm going to talk as if you know a little bit about the work what I find often is that you will not be a successful therapist if you don't play it honestly you have to be incredibly honest with yourself and remember you're not doing it to become like Byron Katie you're not doing it these are I'm talking about a lot of traps that I could have fallen or I might have fallen into at some point I am not trying I admire the woman I love the woman I thank her immensely from the bottom of my life but I don't want to be like her I don't want to be her I'm happy to be me and I'm happy to discover who I am in fact, if I was to be the one that is introducing the work of Byron Katie, I might not introduce it the way she does it. But I love that she has managed to reach so many people and introduce something that could work amazingly. So one of the traps, the first two traps, is not to be honest with yourself and to be like her or, or take on too many of her concepts and not do the work from a place of you, you know, um, i.e. A, a real integrity. And one of the, the things that I think is incredibly good about the work of Byron Katie, which is, you know, it's a different subject altogether, is that she brings you, the work brings you to your body and it makes you see although you're discovering about this part of your being she gets you to go into the rest and I think that is a very very major part of it a lot of people focus on only the first two questions of the work is it true can I absolutely know it's true they often manipulate themselves and lie and say, oh, no, it's not true, leave it. <laughs> and they don't bother about the rest. Now, how do you react when you believe the thought, both mentally and physically? Forces you to move away from the prison of the mind and come to the presence of your body. Where usually you could tap into something very powerful through the body so that's one of the things that you know she she does and and often people miss out on because they think the work is something to do to manipulate yourself into being happy not at all sometimes doing the work properly might get you to take actions in the directions that you are not comfortable to take, but that you have seen and you have known you need to take. So check her out. Check her out. She's worth um, checking out. <laughs> and um, I have, we have asked her permission a few years ago to do the work because we wanted to do it on our retreats, on our yoga retreats. And um, I was given permission to do it as long as I mentioned her name. I have done it for many years. If you do it, you get stuck. Give us a call and um, we can always do it together. And um, I can answer any question that you have as much as I am capable. Otherwise, you can contact her directly. <laughs> Thank you very much for watching and uh, see you next time.